struggling to choose my clip art this week. I really want to use this holiday mail collection from Darcy, which is, I think, kind of a reformat, but also like, she's added new pieces from my collection that was released before. So I really love the theme and the artwork and it's so cute. Um, and it's kind of, it could be like a birthday kit, maybe. I don't think it has to be Christmas. Um, and then there's this pretty scene of the inside of the house and then the door. But I also want to use this one called First Snow from Shop Nevermind. And it's just so cute. I mean, look at the little dog. Like, I love the dog so much. Got a little snowman. So it's a bit of a different vibe. It's still like pink and blue, but the scene for this collection, how pretty is that? The street scene, I love it. And there's also this scene of like the woods. Uh, I just think it's gonna be perfect. This kind of reminds me of, well, I know it's called First Snow, but it reminds me of the time between Christmas and New Year. We go to somewhere near us called Switzerland Woods and it's not quite like this, but the trees kind of remind me of it. And I think like if it snowed, it would look like this. So I really wanna use this art. Earlier in the day, I purchased gingerbread from Kitnish Girl Jess because I mean, look at it, like I don't need to explain why I bought this artwork. It's just amazing. The fashion girls are stunning. So yeah, I, I'm definitely doing this collection next week, but I need to pick this one or... And oh my god, I didn't even see these before. Where is this scene? Is this scene included? Basically, I'm torn. Welcome to the studio vlog and I can't make a decision today. I'm just gonna buy them both and release one the week after next. I'll probably release... Um, whichever one like seems the most different to the Kittenish Girl dress art because I've already bought that so definitely gonna do that one and it's like traditional Christmas so I might do the snow one I think we'll see I've got October mystery kit printing in the background I need to spend at least like two days this week just cutting that and getting it finished because it needs to ship by Friday I've been working on the advent again today I've done probably about half of it and I'm waiting to hear back from a supplier so that I can order one of the items. I'm waiting for another item to arrive and then everything else is not really that time sensitive so I can be getting on with that in the background. Also waiting for a package for that that's coming tomorrow but it's all coming along quite nicely I think. I don't know if I said Tom has got a week off work to help me put it all together because it will be releasing on the let me get my calendar. Fairly short, we'll be releasing on the 29th and Tom has got that week off work so we can package it all up and then they'll be ready to ship. So you won't be able to order it with any other items in the shop because we'll be packaging it into its box and like taping the box up so we just have to put labels on it when they're ordered to make everything really quick so that you get them definitely in time for advent to begin. With that being said, it is gonna be a 12 day, I'm gonna call it a Christmas countdown than an advent because advent is like 24 days I think so mine will be a 12 day countdown so you could either do like the 12 days before Christmas or you could do one every other day in December like it doesn't really matter and I'm probably not going to recommend dates I've got a little bit of time now before I have to go out so I'm going to do some designing I'm just quickly setting up the one page Wednesday um, which isn't even limited to Wednesdays anymore so I don't know why we still call it that I'm setting up the one page Wednesday listings 
um, ready to go live at 12. Normally I like to do these on Fridays, but for some reason I didn't do it on Friday, so I'm just doing that today. So when I set listings up, I duplicate an old listing, I change the name of the kit, and then all this stays the same because all the one page kits have the same description. I then drag in the new picture, so this is the Joyful kit, and all the pricing information is the same, but I do need to change the SKU, so I'm going to change the SKU to Joy because so, the kit is called Joyful, so Joy is like a little abbreviation. And then Shopify have changed it and added this really cool thing, which is not really cool at all. To update the quantity, you have to save it. So I'm gonna save it first, and then I'll update my quantity afterwards, which is just weird. So I've got nine, I think, yeah. So that is all done. So I've scheduled that to go live at midday. Then to do the other one page Wednesday kit, which is called, oops. Holly Jolly, I just duplicate it. I want to duplicate the SKU and set it as active. The reason I duplicate the SKU, even though I changed the SKU, is because I have, um, my SKUs are organized by kind of kit type. So I have one page Wednesday as the ending for that SKU. And I just like to duplicate it so I can edit it and make sure that I don't ever mess this up and then sort of mess my SKUs up. So I think I called the SKU for this one Holly J. But yes, this is Holly Jolly. So then I just drag in my image. Uh, everything else is set up correctly. I just need to amend the quantity when I've saved it. So that one is 13. And then One Page Wednesday should be ready to go. And if you're wondering where you find One Page Wednesday, it is normally on the homepage. Here we go. So these are the current One Page kits. And as I said, they're no longer limited to Wednesdays, but they're just limited by quantity. So when they sell out, they are gone. But I think these are, yeah. There are 12 in stock currently. There'll be 14 when you see this video. I've just done a little Costa run. I did go to Costa yesterday. It's becoming a problem and I'm gonna try and address it, but just not today. I've also just had my singing lesson, which I've moved from Mondays to Wednesdays. If I can have a good productive Monday, I feel like it sets my week up well for the rest of the week. And having like half days on Monday, because I used to take Monday morning off, I found it really hard to get going in the afternoons after my lesson. So I've changed that to hopefully sort of make me feel more productive in general but we'll see how it goes I think it will work so I just had that now and now I need to go and finish cutting the mystery kit I'm feeling quite behind this week already but I don't think I actually am I need to sort of sit down and check what I have left to do because I don't think it's as bad as I think it is in my head I'm going to be cutting the bulk of the mystery kits today so I'm not sure what kind of footage we'll get but I did order from Amazon I've ordered a new light like um it's called like a dimmable panel light and it's not the same as a studio light because I use those for my product photography. But I wanted like a little portable light for when I film in this room. So for doing like reels, um, if I do want to take any photos in here that are not in my like photography setup that I have upstairs, more like candid photos, I guess. I wanted just some good light. So I've ordered that and that should come today, but I really want to use it to film like a reel or just some kind of promotional video for the new notepads that are launching on Friday. This week's releases are the notepads and the washi, so I don't have to make anything for this week, which lets me just focus on the mystery and more advent stuff. I've got a package. I ordered some shredded paper in colours that match the countdown to Christmas and I'm really excited because the package is all going to be like matchy and in my head it looks really good. So fingers crossed it turns out the way I'm imagining it, but I'm going to show you the colours. So these are the colours that I went for. The website that I used actually lets you pick your own mix. So this was a custom mix of four colours. I've got the purple, the pink, the lemon and the green or mint, I think they called it. But these are the colours for the Christmas countdown, so here's a little sneak peek. Hopefully I will have announced all of the information by the time the vlog goes up, but if not, here is your little peek at the colour scheme.
So it's Thursday afternoon and I'm about to do the finishing touches to the mystery kit then they'll be ready to go into their envelopes to ship tomorrow. The mystery kit ended up taking me longer than I expected. I thought I would be done with it by yesterday but I realised I accidentally printed the wrong amount of sheets for I think three files. So I ended up printing and cutting what I needed plus about a third again on top of that and I think it was a little bug with my printer. When I was printing one evening it ran out of ink and I was having issues getting it to register the ink cartridges I had. So I had to order new ink cartridges and put them in the next day but because it had been overnight and the printer had like kept the data in it overnight I think when it resumed printing the next day it started again or something like that I don't know but I can't explain the discrepancy in the number of sheets because I do always make sure that I print the exact amount that I need so I ended up cutting more than I needed which took more time ultimately it is fine because they'll eventually go into grab bags but it did set me back a little bit this week which was a little bit annoying but it's fine <laughs> we'll get over it I also took the photos for the washi and the notepads that are releasing tomorrow so I need to edit those and do the listings tonight I also thought I would have that done more in advance but for some reason I didn't do that either it's only three listings and I've got templates for them them, so that will make it a little bit quicker. I obviously can't show you any of the mystery stuff but I have got the postcards here in a box ready to be put into the bags and I've started to print the labels on the new zebra machine which I really like. There were a few things about it that I'm like kind of miss Dymo but I definitely think it's better overall like the labels are free which is a massive selling point and I can kind of go over any issues I have with it but the one thing that I do miss is on Dymo there is an app where you can literally type anything and it will create like a custom label and I can't find an app like that for Mac. I think one does exist for Windows but I obviously use Mac as my main computer so I kind of needed that to be a Mac compatible program and it doesn't really seem to exist so it's fine because I can just use like any other software and just print to that label machine with it so I'm using my notes app like the Mac notes app I can print to the zebra machine with it which I didn't really realize and maybe that would have actually been quicker than using the Dymo app because the Dymo app was buggy but it worked so kind of a pro and a con like I found a new solution for it but it's not what I expected I like that the labels come on like paper that is pre-folded so I can fold them into neat little piles with the Dymo I kind of rolled them into bundles I don't know if you saw that on the vlog but I had to roll them up and then clip them something or they'd unravel um, so I like that they do this apart from that there's not really been any other major difference it was really easy to set up I literally just plugged it in I didn't even have to download any drivers for it and I like that it takes the bigger role the 500 label role I think the Dymo labels were 220 so I'll be changing the role much less so if you are wondering which one to go for the Dymo or the Zebra I would say the Zebra I think it's slightly more expensive but honestly like they're about on par and it depends what offers are on because I did get my Dymo quite cheap on Amazon but then I got the Zebra used for the same price so I think go with the Zebra if you can get the Royal Mail labels for free and if you're not in the market for a label machine I'm sorry that you had to listen to that. <laughs> There's just one more thing I wanted to mention before I crack on with the mystery kit work. I have another release this week and it is the Secret Santa kit. I don't know if I've shown you this properly on the vlog, I think you've seen little sneaks, but here is the Secret Santa kit and this was the exclusive custom art that I released for Christmas in July under the name of Secret Santa, so it was like a secret kit, but you also got the bundle with Secret Santa. So this is just the kit on its own releasing this week, so you've got the Santa Vertical kit and there is a mini kit as well, but it's very traditional colours and it's kind of very heavily food based, so you have this beautiful cheese board cookies or gingerbread hot chocolate a cake and then this i can't even tell you how obsessed i am with this little dog and he's a bernese mountain dog which is one of my favorite breeds i'm i i love them they're so cute they're i'm not gonna get into it but i love them <laughs> then we have a flat layer of food here on the table you've got more biscuits and like little mince pies just so cute so festive and I, it's just perfect when 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 we got the art back I was like I don't even have any words because it's so pretty you've got your two fashion girls here and here and then the fireplace scene which is just gorgeous with the Christmas tree it's actually been a while since I looked at this kit in detail so it's kind of fun for me as well to like see it again this did release in July so it's not that old but the extra box on the washi sheet is some wrapping paper and like a little um, ribbon and some cards. So that's the standard vertical kit. As I said, there's also the mini kit. 
both do come with additional girl boxes and there will also be a glitter add-on but none of the extra secret santa bundle items because those are exclusive and I'll have to show you them sometime because I'm really happy with how they turned out. I'll probably show you when I actually use the kit myself because I'm going to try and do plan with me's again. I haven't said that yet, I'm thinking about it, but we'll see how I go. Um, because I'm using my new desk pad um, that I showed you last week, I think it will make memory planning easier. So I'm hoping to do plan with me's again, but we will see. Anyway, I need to go and do mystery kit stuff or the kits will not ship by tomorrow. I'm using that box of shredded paper as a table for no reason other than I can't be bothered to set my other table up. But I've done the mystery orders, so yay. We've had a quick change of plan. I'm gonna do the listings tomorrow and I'm gonna do orders tonight so that I can get them done, ready to post. So I forgot to tell you, but yesterday my light came that I ordered and I think it's gonna take a little bit of getting used to. I don't really like how it looks on its own, like just one light, it's very harsh. So I ended up not making the reel that I wanted to make, but I did do a little bit of an Instagram promotional post for the Terrazzo collection and a giveaway. So I need to pick that giveaway winner now and I'm sure I've seen people using um, like apps that pick a comment as the winner. So I need to try and find an app that will do that. So the giveaway was for two sets of the Terrazzo collection and you had to tag a friend in the comments and then the friend would win the set as well which I thought was really fun so I need to go and pick the winner I'm so excited I love giving stuff away Instagram comment picker free giveaway winner picker Instagram comment picker <laughs> it just keeps saying the thing um think it's done so let's let's pick a winner I should get my phone so I can film it for stories my phone is shouting at me because I haven't done my evening routine yet so the free app I found works, luckily I never think about how I'm going to actually pick my winner until it comes to the point where I need to do it and then I'm like, oh. I remember a few years ago doing a giveaway on Facebook and I did like a random number generator to pick the winner but I had to go down on each comment and number them and Facebook banned me because I was commenting too quick and it gave me like a, I can't remember, it was like Facebook jail for like a few hours or something so I couldn't even pick my own winner <laughs> so it's good to know there's this website that I used, it only worked for free because they had less than 100 comments. It's called igrcp.com. Anyway, if you need one for less than 100 comments, that one is free and it worked. Uh, it's alright, we're alright. Is this the aesthetic you wanted? Jolly good. Thank you so much for watching this week's video i really hope you enjoyed the studio vlog i'll see you next week for another video bye